Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith. And I'm Becca Wildsmith. And in this video, we're going to be unboxing whatever's inside this massive mystery box from our friends at Steadfast Bibles. Becca, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for having me. Have you ever seen a Bible box? It would have been nice big? if you made some room for me at this table. <laughs> I told this Becca. Is huge. I told Becca I'm expecting a box to be delivered. It's got a buy. It's a Bible box. She was like, "Are you sure it's a Bible? This is now." Uh, th this is a big Bible if okay. there's a Bible in here. So my friends at Steadfast Bibles, who are the publisher of the LSB, the Legacy okay. Standard Bible, mm -hmm. they recently released, while we were away, I was on sabbatical, okay. they released a giant print reference Bible. This box indicates that it might be fairly giant. Yes, I agree. Actually, I went back and read the email and they said, hey, we're going to put a new... I don't know which copy they sent me. They made several different editions of the giant print reference Bible. <laughs> but then they said, we're also going to throw in a few other things for you to check out. And we're excited to see what you and Becca have to think about it. <laughs> Thanks, Steadfast. So shout out to Matt and all the people at Steadfast Bibles. We've got this. Are you ready to open it? Where's I'm my knife? Very, Can you grab the knife over there? I, I will I will gently grab it. It's over yes. there on the thing. There you go. I thought you got new knives. I did. You're I actually did get some new knives thing? while on sabbatical, but I forgot to open them up. So I'm going to open this up. Okay. This is a huge box. I actually sharpened this knife. I don't know if I sharpened it well enough. Ooh. Everybody's going to make comments. Of, oh, there's a Bible on oh, top. There oh. it is. The, okay, show it to him on the V-cam okay. right here. Can you hold? Sorry. Yes. Right there on top. <laughs> Giant print reference button. Let me pull that out. Okay. okay. Wait. Tipping it back up? This is empty. Oh, wait. They sent me an empty box? But wait a minute. There's more. Hold on. Let's go ahead and assume that maybe there's a Bible in here. That's okay. hilarious. We're going to okay. get rid of the paper. Because it Whoa. might be... <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there's something. I'm going to get this on the top. Oh, you're going to love this. For as oh. many are the problem. This is the Bible memory planner. I can't see it. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is stunning. That is gorgeous. Let's get everything out of the box okay, first. Okay, okay, okay. There might be a Bible in that Ooh. Bible. That's a, their Bible armor. Ooh. That's something. Wait, you're going too fast. Let's just get it all out okay, so we don't okay. have to have the big, huge okay. box okay. On, in the camera. Okay, hold on. That's heavy, whatever that is. What in the world? <laughs> Okay, you want to toss the box? I do. What is this? This is okay. Sorry. Let's okay. Let's okay. open that last since it's like okay. a little surprise. Okay. 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 Hmm. Talk us through this. All right. This is the monthly and weekly Bible memory planner. This goes from August. Perfect. This is next month through December of next year. Plus, it says that it has stickers. Can I open this up? Yes. Can I take the plastic? While you're opening that, I'm gonna tell them about this. This is called the handbook. For Praying Scripture oh, that's by cool. William Varner. Look at that beautiful design. Okay, and it's featuring the Legacy Standard Bible. Lord, teach us to pray. Collected and adaptive prayers using the text of the Legacy Standard Bible. This is beautiful. Single column, gold accent. And Show it's got, the, it's got day by day. So this is like day 10 using scripture as a prayer guide. This is so cool. I love the that is page really, layout too. This is really well designed. It's small. Yeah. You can you literally you could throw this in a pocket or something like that. That's cool. I love that. Praying scripture. Done. That is really cool. Okay, show us this. Okay, so this. It's got like a scripture on the front all, of it. Absolutely gorgeous. What's it yes. like on the inside? So it looks like ooh, how to use. Memorizing Bible verses will reap a lifetime of rewards to help these verses take root in your heart. The planner design includes a checklist to help you stay on track each day. Printable PF, PDFs. So it's, like it's like a schedule so it's for a, memorizing I'm, scripture. This makes me so happy. If you know anything about me, you know that I use a planner, a daily this planner. This is like your daily August of 2023. And it has weekly. Let's let's keep going through because it, it looked like it had weekly. Yes. Yep, that is really cool. And then you have a new scripture each each week to memorize. And then you can add your own in here as well. And then they said there were stickers in here. Oh, how pretty. Oh, they've got There's designed like, like art. And it's beautiful. And because it's spiral, you can open it single like this. Look yes. at that art in there. Like scripture imagery. Beautiful. That is cool. And apparently there's stickers. There they are. So wait, you can wait. track. This is also a... Oh, that's cool. So you can have all these really fun stickers to help you keep track. That's neat. This is beautiful. What is that called? Because this is called the Bible Memory Planner Enduring Word. This is 2024 Bible Memory Planner. This is... But it starts in August of 2023. So you get a year and a half in this puppy. This is basically a smaller, slimline version of Enduring Word Bible Planner. August 23 to December 24. Oh, look it. Look it. Was this the... Go, go back to that first page. 
Was this... Oh, those are days, holidays. Okay, I thought so, those were the actual scriptures. It's like a it's like a mini me version. See, there's scripture up here. I think those are just like key verses, but you can like That's fill this out. Cool. It's got instructions for filling it out. This is stunning. So wait, what's this one called? Go to the front. This is called, this was the monthly and weekly. Here it is right here. 2024 Bible Memory Planner. Bella Paper. That's one of the Bella brands Paper. of 316 Publishing, which okay. is Steadfast Bibles. They publish the LSB. So Bella Paper, the Promises of Yahweh Bible Memory Planner. And this is called the Enduring Word Bible Memory Planner. This is beautiful. It, it kind of feels like a his and hers, right? But this is Very, still something I could see you absolutely. using. Absolutely. That's that's really cool. You know I'd like this because I write everything down. Oh, you're going to love this. Okay. Bella paper thank you cards with matching stickers. Can we talk about how thank you cards are a lost art? I love nothing more than to write thank you cards. These are so cool. Look at this. That Look is how beautiful so cool. those are. Becca was literally the other day saying, where are thank you cards? There's like a big, there's a drawer in there that has like a zillion different ones. Yep. Those are beautiful. These are stunning. So and this is cool. So, so well, here's, I mean, I said this just a second ago. So you have... 316 Publishing, okay. the, the umbrella, the publishing company. They have Steadfast Bibles who do the Legacy Standard Bible and other Bibles, which is mostly what I've featured on my channel. They have Bella Paper, which does things like this. Calendars, scripture memory, That's different cool. cool paper products and things like that. And then this 316 Publishing is just the brand on like a book like this. So they've got a few different kind of brands underneath their label. I talked about this a little bit, plug, plug, wink, wink, in my Legacy Standard Bible video. I did a really cool, fun video about is the Legacy Standard Bible here to stay? Spoiler alert, I think it is. But talking a little bit about the company and how it formed and stuff like that, I'll put a link to that in the bio. This is really cool. Now, I am pretty sure, I'm gonna move this over, that the massive okay. 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 giant print reference Bible is in this. So this is called Bible Armor. A lot of people ask me about Bible cases, and the folks at 316 and Steadfast sell these really nice kind of neoprene style. It even says like Steadfast. I don't know if you can see that on the little tab in there. They sell these, these Bible armor cases. So just looking here at this, this is giving you the size. It tells you all of the different LSB Bibles that it fits. It's protective. It's got a faux fur interior, so it's uh, water resistant, high quality nylon, a zippered pocket on the outside, which is really cool. Yep. Oh, on the front, so there's yep. a zippered pocket in here. Now, the pens or what? The newest, yes. Ooh, they sent me a nice one. This looks like one of the goatskin editions. The newest addition to the. By the way, this is fuzzy on the inside. It's very nice. The newest addition to the Legacy Standard Bible line is called the Giant Print Reference Bible. This is That's the edge beautiful. lined goatskin oh, edition. Oh, look at the look at this. Detail. The tooling around the inside is like a little, you see that? It's like a real pretty design. It's like a, it's, that's not called herringbone, is it, right? Herringbone is kind of when it nestles together, but that's really That is beautiful. Pretty. Black goat skin. This it says is... LSB on the side. It's got raised spine hubs. Super, super floppy piece of goat skin. That case is nice. It's a nice, this is a big, big, that is a big Bible. Bible. So this is the giant print reference Bible, 95,000 cross references, 14,000 footnotes. Let me see how this is if for a huge Bible. This is very, feel that it's like very soft and floppy. It's very soft, very it's floppy. It's a big Bible. It's very, very thick. It's probably, it's it looks, it feels like a study Bible. It's about the size of a study Bible. I would say so. If yeah. not bigger, open it up. Ooh. Wow. That is gorgeous. Very, very large. I honestly, I'm, I'm going to do a full beautiful. review of this Bible. I'm going to follow up with a full review because I don't even know what all the specs are. I'll put it on the screen right now, what the size of the typeface is in this. But it is, I would guess that it's at least a 12 or 13 point typeface. Red accents all over the page. It looks nice with the... the Cross references. It looks nice with the, the gilding, the yeah, red. Yeah, the gilding. So you have like the red on the side. That's a very attractive Bible. It's very nice. I get a lot of comments from people who say they need a, a larger typeface. And so giant print, super giant print Bibles are definitely something that people are interested in. It's got three ribbons in here, black, gold, and red. Like I said, I'll do a full review of this because it deserves it. But I love this typesetting. That's it's, beautiful. It's just a really... Sometimes it, large prints can be really horsey. This is not. Yeah, it reminds this me a little bit of, of Skylar's Quintel because it's a two-column Bible and it has a line at the bottom with all the references and stuff at the bottom. But it's like a, a mega version of that, like a supersized version of that. And it's obviously 
in the Legacy Standard Bible, the LSB. You do get a concordance back here. It's a big, thick Bible. The paper I mean, looks fantastic. Look at that. Makes a great first impression. Weights beautiful. and measures, monetary unit. You get a concordance. This is full throttle. I'm Bible so, maps. This, is actually, this does not feel like a giant Bible for it well, to be large okay, so, so, so do that. I'm going to stand That's up That's kind of shocking. That's really... Like it feels... Here's my, here's my LSB stack back here. Let's do this real quick. This is fun. So this is... I'm going to get the Bible armor over there real okay. quick. This is the original, the Legacy Standard Bible handy size edition. <laughs> Look at the handy size. It looks like a personal size Bible compared to the big guy. Then you have, they did, they did the wide margin, large print, wide margin. That looks like the margin. same size. It's like a larger version of this Bible, but it's actually not even as big as, it's not as tall if as you, the giant yeah, print. Yeah. Then they did, what was this one called? The single column reference Bible. Also, it's about the same. No, it's still, it's taller than the single. It's not as thick as the single column reference Bible, but it's a little bit taller than that. And then you have this guy. I have so many Legacy Standard Bibles. This one I love. This is like the smaller, straight up. It's called the, the two-column verse-by-verse Bible. Mm -hmm. But even the two-column verse-by-verse looks like a thin line compared to this. Yeah. So but what I'm saying is it doesn't feel obnoxiously yeah, large. Yeah. Like and you can see. We can hear, now, here's what I'm saying. I didn't know which one they were sending me. So this is these two are the uh -huh. edge-lined goat skin, like really nice. Then yes. you've got like the cloth over board hardcover. Yep, yep. Still very beautiful. You've got a more just like straight up hardcover. And then this is their synthetic leather. Which is beautiful. The pebbling is gorgeous. Look how soft and floppy that is. So they make these Bibles. Every time they release a Bible, they release it in multiple different binding options. Obviously, this one is going to be one of the most expensive ones, but they have a lot of different options this is so pretty. for you to check out. This is Oh, I forgot about whatever's in that thing. I have no idea what this is. I didn't forget. What is this? Because it's just chilling over here. Okay, okay. First of all, I'm trying to... I'm trying to. Just... You realize that they can't see any of that stuff when you put it at the front of the table? We'll scoot it back. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I just want you guys I'm to know that Becca this. has laid everything out very beautifully here on the front of the table I'm where you can't this. see it. <laughs> okay. I love things that are wrapped up with brown paper. Oh. oh. I love ripping things open that are wrapped up with brown paper. That is a box. I gotta get the knife. Back. Oh, this it is says crazy. on the front of the box. What does it, it say? Tell me. The complete ten volume set. Of what? You got me. I don't know. Oh, it's the Power Bible. This is how they got their start. I've never seen this before. The Power Bible. This is gonna be my nephew is gonna love this. This is really cool. I'm gonna try not to cut anything. <gasps> Check it out. It's like. Oh, he is gonna love this. this. Cool? Here, dump it out. It's like. Okay. It's like animated yep give it a little yeah there we go whoa <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> this is cool okay it's a complete vault complete set it's a complete set volume. of the power bible so it's the bible in like a comic book style he's form. gonna love this this is cool this is really Bible I've never seen this. Moses leader. So is it is it scripture in order or is it like, here we go. So Power Bible 1 from creation to the story of Joseph. So it's basically Power Genesis is going to yes. be number one. Moses, leader of the Israelites, the promised land. So it's it's like walking you through everything. And then 7 through 10 Six of the, the first six are the Old Testament. The yep. last four are the New Testament. Yep. So I, I shared this in the video about the LSB. Birth but Jesus. they basically, this was one of the first things they did. This is how they got this started. This is so cool. This is really cool. This is very uniquely designed. I should have. I'll have to do what a review this of called? this. It's not called comic book. It's called um, comic book anime. No, it's called like this type of book. Green Egg called? Media was the name of the company back then. Media. It was called Green Egg Media. I talked about that. This is so cool. It's very cool. It's totally different, right? They give you all the character very cool. descriptions. That's so fun. Show this them. Is, this is neat. This, this is, is really cool. This is like. Just a very, very bold, interesting, different way. Yes. Uh, we were talking about my, my nephew. He's 16. He loves different stuff like this. This would be an interesting way. He's like a visual learner for him yes. to engage with the Bible. That's this cool. So really Okay, cool. so I'm going to have to do a time. full review okay. of the... Can I scoot these back, these things back? Yes, you can scoot okay. them back. I'll do a full review of the giant print reference Bible, which is literally... That's what I thought was going to be in the box when I when I when when they told me they were sending it to me. So, uh, let me, we got to pull this back in further, all the way, all the way. 
Here, let's let's put the Bible on top of the comic okay. books. So I'll do a full review of this. Okay. I'll do a full review of these. Okay. So we can have some follow up. Yep. You can maybe use those, and then we'll follow back up and beautiful, let us know. Beautiful, beautiful oh, thank you notes. I love these. They're all and they're like on a watercolor paper, and there's scripture inside, and that then there's is... notes, and there's little stickers to seal the envelopes with. Gorgeous. Over here. Um, beautiful calendars. So as you can see, 316 is way more than just a Bible publisher. Right. They, they, make, creating, they make some of the best Bibles in the world. Tools for you to really yeah. engage with scripture on a daily basis. It's really cool. It's really, really beautiful. Thank you so much. That was a huge box. That box was massive. This was crazy. This so it was wasn't cool. so it wasn't just one Bible. It was multiple Bibles. Yeah. Lots of and different multiple goodies. really cool. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay. I'm gonna put links to all of this stuff in the video description. So if you see something you want to check out online, you can find out the prices and things like that. Click the links, check those out. If you have questions about any of this, like I said, I'm going to do some full reviews, but if you have questions you want me to think about as I'm doing those reviews, leave those in the comments. If you want to tell Becca that you just love her and you're glad that she's on the channel, <laughs> drop them below. Do Let that. Me know. Um, <laughs> and yeah, if you have time, click the, the like button. The first person to leave their Home address? No, don't do that. Don't do that in the public comments. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll write you a thank you have note. A, shoot me a message on Bible Review Blog's yes. Instagram page, and we'll write you a little we'll thank you We'll write you a little thank you note. There you go. Um, These are like, like the video. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe. If you subscribe, you do all those things. It helps the algorithm. YouTube plays this video for more people. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to everybody at 316 Publishing, yes. Bella Paper, Steadfast thank Bibles, you. Green Egg Media, all y'all. This is really Really cool. It's really fun beautiful. for us to be able to share this uh, with the audience here uh, on YouTube and everywhere else. So and if these things disappear from your studio, they gone. Know where they are. I, I know where they're going to be. She's going to take them, which is absolutely fine with me. Thank you for being. I'll put some links in the description as well to Becca's presence on social media, <laughs> things like that. She's working on some cool stuff. This was a lot of fun. This was so fun. Thanks this for having great. me. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. See you next time.